Here we have another expression. Again, this is a polynomial with four terms. So I'm going to use grouping. Group the terms. Group the first two and group the second two. 12x cubed minus 6x squared, and then I'm going to group negative 5 and 10x. Next, find the GCF for each group. Okay, um, let's look at this first group. Let's do it over here. 12x cubed minus 6x squared. The greatest common factor for the numbers is 6, and I notice that I have an x squared and an x cubed, so the greatest common factor there is going to be x squared. Okay, for my second group, negative 5 plus 10x, greatest common factor for the numbers would be 5, no common factor for the variables. So my greatest common factor for the second group is 5. Third, right? each group as a product of the greatest common factor and a simpler binomial. Okay, so for my first group, greatest common factor is 6x squared. If I take a 6x squared out of 12x cubed, I'm going to leave behind 2x. If I take a 6x squared out of 6x squared, I'm going to have a 1. It's not just 0 or nothing. You still have a 1 left behind because if I multiply 6x squared times 1, then I would get 6x squared back. For my second expression, I have greatest common factor of 5, which is going to leave me with a negative 1 plus 2x. Now I want to factor out the common binomial. So I'm looking at this and I actually do have a common binomial. The second one is just written in the opposite order of the first one. So I'm going to rewrite that a bit differently so I can easily see what I have. Instead of writing negative 1 plus 2x, I'm just going to write 2x minus 1. And once I do that, I see that I have a common binomial. And I'm going to pull that out and it's going to leave me with 6x squared plus 5. So the factorization of this polynomial with four terms was achieved by first grouping the first two and the second two terms, finding the greatest common factor for each pair, and then factoring out the common binomial.